That's the cold front we've been expecting for about five days now. All right, basically my worst nightmare just happened. What are your top three tips that you give starting a YouTube channel? Oh, good question. All right, we are going to drift the current cut. What do you think? I'm excited. seven-year-old Olaf made us a Lego Clarity. Oh, that's <laughs> really cute. Oh, who doesn't love Legos? That's awesome. So colorful. Thank you, Olaf. The highlight for us doing these videos is getting to know new friends and making friends online. So, Olaf, thanks so much, man. So what are you doing here? Uh, we've got a bit of a challenge today. We're going south and southeast down the inside of Eleuthera Island. And we've got to go through this little spot called Current Cut. And uh, I'll zoom in on the digital chart. You can see it's a very narrow little passageway. And the currents at Current Cut can be pretty strong. This little exclamation point, that's a note from another cruiser saying they've seen 10 knots of, of current through here. Wow. Yeah. So the current goes like this. It floods towards the southeast and it ebbs towards the northwest. So we are going to be heading towards the southeast and ideally we're going to hit this at slack tide. Uh, but we do need some hours of daylight to get down to our anchorage. So um, we're actually going to pass through at the low slack water and that might be a little challenging on the other side of the cut because it gets kind of shallow that's cool i'll just go up to the bow and keep a watch out for those shallow spots and currently in current cut the current really isn't too bad we timed it right this is an hour and 40 minutes after the nasa low tide and uh, it looks like it's pretty much slack water now it is low tide and there is a five point something section towards the end of our run here, about a mile away. So uh, not completely exhaling yet, but no planning and uh, no biggie. And it's a race between Counting Stars, Bedouin and Clarity. All right, my money's on Bedouin. <laughs> <laughs> my money's on Clarity. It's like a good day for a race. Yeah, we're, we really got lucky. The forecast worked out pretty well. How sweet it is. Even though the little chop is starting to settle down, and as we flatten out, the boat likes to cruise a little bit faster, gained about half a knot. Sail in the same place with a faster boat, Bedouin at Perry 43. The competitive part of me says we need a faster boat or better sails, one or the other. It is just so gorgeous out. It's warm, the breeze is perfect, there's no obstacles, no big tankers to dodge, no fishing boats. It's just gliding. We got a race going, <laughs> neck and neck with Bedouin, although they're going faster, so. All right, I did not see this coming, but the chain hook situation with the regular chain hook has been a problem this season because it's getting super jammed where it takes Nick with a hammer trying to get it unjammed 
while we're trying to raise the anchor. So we are going back to the mantis hook and I have built a Velcro patch to strap down the chain so that when I pull it up, it will the chain will stay attached to the mantis and it will come up in a clean line and not do the splits and get blocked. So I can't believe we're back to trying the mantis, but we just can't have any issues when we're trying to raise the anchor. We're gonna replace this chain hook again with the mantis chain hook and give this another shot with Megan's modifications. Not even close? Okay, he's coming back already. That could be either a good sign or a bad sign. <laughs> Is it just sitting on top? Yeah, it's, it's just like barely even scratched the surface. Oh Alright, basically my worst nightmare just happened. We were deploying the anchor the second time on Lee Shore and it was it got jammed up right after I hooked the chain hook. I didn't quite have enough to drag down on it and it got jumbled up in the windlass. And so Nick Guyver got on the scene and it took him a while to unjam it. And I can't believe he got it because it was really, really jammed. And now he's going down to see if the anchor is set, hopefully. So how dug in is it? Dug in like butter? Yeah, it's soft sand. All right, third time is the charm. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We are set. Nick just dove out there to double check it. And we have a clear sky for the solstice and the Saturn and Jupiter uh, coincidence. Wow, this is a rough spot. It's about the solstice, baby. Yeah. We're gonna watch them planets. Yeah. Still got that westerly breeze going. I mean, once the wind turns, this will be a great spot. Yeah. So glad our friends decided to move over next to us so we can go to the beach and get off this rolly boat. <laughs> oh, you okay? I don't know what happened here. I don't know if it has to do with Hurricane Dorian or not, but in the last three years, the sand has been scoured out from these anchorages. So we, uh, we really had a hard time setting. We dove the anchors, uh, but had to reset, I think three times, four times, and move around trying to find the sand. Hey, A for effort though, right? Right. Got it now, so it's tough <laughs> for you. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> but you can get one of them. <laughs> Cheap piece down there. <laughs> we identify a little bit with America, a little bit with South Africa. We, I don't yeah. know, we just, I so it know. works out nicely. And then we bought, we got this boat, and we said we're keeping that name. Yeah. And everyone in the cruising community almost knows you by your name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you'll be walking down and they'll say Bedouin. They don't necessarily right. say Chris and Mandy. Right. They'll say, oh, Bedouin, how yes. are you doing? You know? It's so so cool. we always knew that we would be, well, we hoped and we were working towards one day cruising again now at this age. Yeah. Because when our first boat, we were in our 30s. So we thought, oh, imagine if we meet people along, they'll oh, recognize our yeah. name, you know? Yeah. Oh, I love these new cameras. Isn't that a great shot? Can you see that, Chris? Whoa. That is amazing, eh? That is so cool. Can you see the rings? No. No. Because he got out of learning how to make omelets. He was going to do it. I'm up to making cup of tea. That's my current level. <laughs> You know who likes a good cliche? Megan O'Kelly. And I've got one that I think she's going to appreciate. What? You gotta pay to play. And boy, last night, 
did we ever pay to be in this anchorage? <laughs> I would count that among the, what do you say, maybe the top 10 worst overnights for rolling. I think I felt like I was in a mono hole. Yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, well the wind shifted and now the swell is, uh, it's pretty much flattened out to nothing. So we're going to get our gear on and go hunting. I like the hunting a lot more than the catching though. So we'll see what we find. Let me tell you, this comes from our runways in Paris. Derelict. This thing, uh, it's coming apart a little bit. Come on, winter sunshine, we need you. It's a little bit chilly out, but Nick's got lobster on his brain and he wants to get some. We dove the keys, we snorkeled the keys, uh, beautiful. I guess this is like a little spawning spot, lots of little fry out there. But no lobster, no lobster at all. I don't know where all the lobsters are. Wow, I love that pink, it's so pretty. I wish I had a conch shell. Good morning. Oh, it's a beautiful day and we are going to have a nice sail down to Rock Sound. A pretty strong looking cold front headed our way so we're going to get out of the way of that. Scooting along nicely here between eight and eight and a half knots on a nice beam reach and 16 to 17 and a half, 18 knots away. Nice to have you along. We're gonna make the corner here in about 45 minutes to an hour. Feel free to just ride along with us and enjoy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> do, you, do you guys want What music um, do you guys like? Water. Not that we have the choice. Everything. Oh. You don't care. No. What about the mushrooms? I'll just put them on. If it's annoying, you just talk. Okay. <laughs> We're too polite. We never uh, we'll talk about it later, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Can you do Silent Night? <laughs> Come on. You gotta try. Wait, can I sit here? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, <now. laughs> so there is a trick. Excuse you. Oh, yes. What is it? Oh, okay. Soft lips like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you got this. Do I have to turn it? <laughs> there we go. That's not the best. How did it, you make it go so The long? trick is you got to... That, but when you do that, it's about the amount of pressure that you put on it. So, there you go. There you go. You see, you got it. But how you do it for very long? Now, see, he knows how to play this thing. He knows it. <laughs> now you can't get him to stop. <laughs> well, we got our weather window to the Exumas. We can't wait. I've missed it. What's up, Cap? Well, we left in haze this morning. 
from Rock Sound go over to the Exumas. I just thought it'd probably be a good idea to check the tides and see what we're gonna arrive to. So low at noon, high at six, so tide will be going in all afternoon. Nice. So you got like a 50 mile? Uh, I haven't even charted it out. Are you are you awake, Captain? No, I need oh my, my coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we're crossing over to the Exumas and it's starting to warm up. I probably don't even need this hat anymore. Never ceases to amaze me as we approach these banks. This is the Exuma Bank we're approaching. You can definitely see a change in color on the horizon. That turquoise blue reflecting off the sand and the bank and then off the clouds to us. Pretty sweet. It's not just subtle, it's pretty distinct. We're getting close. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I can see it on the haze and right up in the base of the clouds. Just a little hue of turquoise. Okay, we are jibing to go into Wardrick Wells because the northwest and north wind is gonna make it too uncomfortable along the uh, Shroud and Hawksville area. So we're gonna go into Wardrick Wells and that means jibing right now. Nice. Smooth job. Clarity, clarity, clarity. This is clarity, one six. Vessel head and clarity, let's go to one two, one two. One two. Vessel head and clarity, come back. Clarity, this is sailing vessel Clarity. I just wanted to contact you and compliment you on the name of your vessel. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, happy holidays, you too. Happy holidays and have a good trip north. This clarity uh, going back to 1-6. Alright, Muddy, I'll catch you going back to 1-6. What are your top three tips that you give for starting a YouTube channel? Oh, good question. Top three tips, Nick. Well, my number one is, like mom, my mom was right. She said, just be yourself. So, be yourself. Like, if you like, I don't know, country music, like your video should have country music in it. Uh, or, if, if you, I don't know, what do you, what do you like? Do you have a uh, particular thing that you're into? Or? Building and fishing. Building like, or getting in the engine. Maintenance. Nice. Maintenance and fishing. So cool. So just make sure that like whatever video you make is kind of centered around that thing that you're super duper into. Okay. What's your tip? So have a story in mind that you want to tell and then bring the camera along and just pretend like you're bringing your friend. Tell them something that's not something that's obvious but in present tense. So yeah. bring them along. Yeah, present tense. All right, this is key. This is huge. This film like 10 times as much stuff as you think you'll ever use. So if you're working on the motor, like film it like from this side and that side, and then film it upside down and do it twice and just film over and over and over again. Because how many times do we shoot something and it's like out of focus? Yeah or like the audio is bad, or it's shaky. Yeah. Oh. How do you catch funny moments if you're not filming all the time? Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> How do we catch them? Uh, accidentally. Yeah. Because uh, I, would say, I would say for every funny thing that's on the camera, there's probably five or 10 that are way funnier. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't have the camera at hand. All right, breaking news over here on Clarity. I wanna thank all of my new Instagram subscribers. We did it. We've got 944 and we have taken the lead. This race is not over. It was a marathon, this is not a sprint. And uh, nothing more motivating than being the underdog. And I think that my crew out there will rally behind me in support and subscribe to me 
I will share my prize. <laughs> Guys, he hardly even posts on Instagram. I mean, did you see my post last night about the dinner I made?